Hello friends, in this video I'd like to solve the following problem from the Romanian District Mathematical Olympiad for 12th graders 2018. Problem number 1. Let f be the family of all continuous functions f from the compact interval 0, 1 into the set of real numbers, satisfying that the maximum of the absolute value of our function is 1. For every element of this family, we let i of f be the following operator. It's the integral from 0 to 1 of f of x dx plus f of 1 minus f of 0. And we wish to show two things. First, part a, we wish to show that i of f is strictly less than 3 for all elements f of our family. And then, part b, we wish to find the supremum over all elements of our family of i of f. It's a nice problem from Calculus, Mathematical Analysis, here are my hints. For part A. Notice that, well, since this maximum is equal 1, our function, it goes from 0, 1 into minus 1, 1. Justify that our integral must be less than 1, and i of f must be less than or equal 3. So integral is less than or equal 1, i of f is less than or equal 3. Now, you, we wish to exclude this possibility and show that if i of f equals 3, then our integral f of 1 and minus f of 0, they all must be equal 1, and show that this is impossible for continuous function f. Because continuous function, since it starts at minus 1, it must be less than or equal 0 on some non-zero, non-trivial interval, and just write the integral from 0 to 1, split it into two integrals, from 0 to delta and from delta to 1, and show that, well, this must be less than 1. Part by, now part b. Uh, to prove uh, the... First, show that the supremum is less than or equal 3. Well, it is an immediate consequence of part a. And then show that this supremum actually equals 3. And to show that, consider the following function, whose graph consists of segments from 0, minus 1 to 2, epsilon 1. And second piece, from 2, epsilon 1 into 1, 1. Where epsilon is arbitrary, arbitrary positive number, of course less than 1 half, I believe, and let epsilon go to zero. And that should be enough to finish this problem. So give this problem a try. All right. So let's, let's start. Uh, notice that maybe part A. Since, since maximum between of x between 0 and 1 of f module of the absolute value of f of x is 1, we know that, well, that for every x between 0 and 1, the, uh, well, f of x is between minus 1 and 1. We can write it like that. Now, this allows us to, to say something. Because notice that the integral from 0 to 1 of f of x dx, this integral, f of x is bounded from above by 1. Well, integral of 1 is just 1. Likewise, f of 1 is bounded by 1, and likewise, minus f of 0 is also bounded from above by 1 which says, after adding these three inequalities together, we know that for every f in our family, i of f is less than or equal 3. Now, we wish to exclude this possibility of equality. Notice that suppose, suppose that i of f actually equals 3. Then, well, here must be equality, here must be equality, and here as well. It's the only possibility. So, integral from 0 to 1 of f of x dx must equal f of 1 
must equal minus f of 0 and must equal 1. But now, notice that our function f of 0 is minus 1. Since f of 0 is minus 1, and since f is continuous, Well, uh, we know, we know for sure that f of x is less than or equal to zero for x's between x's between zero and delta, where delta is some positive number. It can be very, very small, but definitely very subtle number. Continuous function cannot be just negative at one point. Yes. But now this leads to a problem. Notice that if this is the case, integral from 0 to 1 of f of x dx, we will split it into two parts. First part will be f of x dx, f of x dx. First part will be from 0 to delta, and the second part will be from delta to 1. And now notice the following. We know that this function is less than or equal 0, so this entire integral is also going to be less than or equal 0. And moreover, f of x is less than or equal 1. So this can be safely bounded from above by integral from delta to 1 of just dx, which is 1 minus delta. But here comes the problem, 1 minus delta, delta is positive, it is less than 1. And we have noticed that this integral should be equal 1, and now we know that it is less than 1, so we have a contradiction. Now we reach a contradiction. All right, so no lag there. So, which means, this means, this means that we have something stronger for every function f in our family. i of f is strictly less than 3, which is exactly what we wanted to prove in part a. This closes part a. Now, part B. Notice that since, since for every f in our family, i of f is less than 3, we have, we must have the following, the supremum over all elements of our family of i of f, this supremum is less than or equal 3. Cannot be greater than 3. All right. But now, we will show that actually equality is attained. And now consider, because maybe let's, let's take a break and let's think graphically about our situation. We wish to uh, show that we can get to number 3, that i of f can get as close to 3 as we wish. And basically, what I will do, I will consider the following functions. Functions which will take very small epsilon and their graph will look like the following. It will start at, minus, at 0, minus 1. Here it will go this point. It will go, of course, through epsilon and it will stay constant up to the end. Notice that, well, this type of function, it is continuous, of course, it is continuous, its maximum is 1, of course it is, and what is the i of f of this function? So let, maybe let f go from 0, 1 into the set of real numbers, uh, b such that, such as drawn as, as, uh, as illustrated. Yes. 
Uh, now, well, notice that, of course, then this function f is in our family. Of course it is. It's continuous. Its maximum is 1. And what is i of f? And i of f, well, it's the integral from 0, 1 of f of x dx plus f of 1 minus f of 0. And let's take a look. What is it? What is integral from 0 to 1 of f of x dx? Well, it's just the area of this. It's the area of that minus the area of that. But probably you can see clearly there is no need for any integral because we have just triangle right here. These two triangles marked in blue are just congruent, so their areas cancel. So this integral is just the area of this rectangle. And the area of this rectangle, it is just 1 minus 2 epsilon. Then we have plus f of 1, but f of 1 is 1. And we subtract f of 0. So we subtract minus 1. So we get 3 minus 2 epsilon. And notice that epsilon is arbitrary. This works. This holds. For any epsilon between 0 and 1 half. 0 and 1 half. So, taking epsilon to go to 0, uh, we will get, well, notice, because all of that, really, this means, maybe let's write it above this line, this equality, says that the supremum over all of our functions of i of f, this supremum is greater than or equal 3 minus 2 times epsilon. And now, taking epsilon to go to 0, we will deduce that this supremum, supremum of i of f is less greater than or equal 3 greater than or equal 3. And now let's just compare this result. It is greater than or equal 3, and at the same time it is less than or equal 3. This means that this supremum equal, equals and this closes our problem. Very nice problem, I'd say. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that you've learned something new this time. And I wish you a nice day. Goodbye.